Hello and welcome to another Gardeners Wiltshire video. I'm your host Luke and this is another of my hobby vlogs. And as you can see, I'm going to be doing the Incredible Hulk in this episode. Um, lots of big bits of metal and a big base there. Um, it's not like, the base isn't like on the picture, it's not very scenic. So it gives you sort of free reign to do your own thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and keep with my Avengers theme. So just the rocky base with a bit of flock. Um, but obviously I've got to do it myself with a few stones, sand and my own flock really. Um, but yeah, looking, really looking forward to this. I saved him uh, till last really. He's my last sort of Marvel miniature that I've got to do. Um, just because he's my favourite character and the, the pose and the model itself are incredible. Like his namesake, the Incredible Hulk I suppose. <laughs> um, so what I'll probably do is I'll come back with the next clip when he is assembled and ready to be sort of sprayed and then get some paint on him. Um, I won't be able to show you as easily now, but this cast, there are some issues with gaps and things like that. So if I show you just there, I put the, the chest and back piece together there. Um, where the joins are, it's very noticeable. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of green stuff and sort this guy out. Um, Shouldn't be too much of an issue, um, but with the bigger parts where his arm joins on, there are big holes. I'm not be able to show you, I've got, got the one hand free. Um, but I'll probably show you at that stage in the next clip where I've done the green stuff and it'll be fairly noticeable because there'll be a lot of it. Um, but yeah, that's it for now and I'll show you when there's a bit of progress. And I'm back, and as you can see, the Incredible Hulk has been assembled. Um, not as difficult as I thought it might be when I first sort of got the pieces out and realised how much, um, how many gaps there were between the joins. Um, as you can see, there's green stuff on the arms there, um, just where his arms meet his shoulders. Um, there's a little bit around his feet, his foot, sorry, um, just there was a gap. Um, so I can get a decent. So yeah, where his foot was actually attached to the base, for some reason there was a gap. So I tried to fill it in as best I can. I'm gonna put sand and stones and stuff in there anyway. So hopefully that will look okay when that's done. Um, and then we turn it around on the back. You can see the join between the chest and the back piece there, but I'm hoping that will be okay once that's painted. Maybe I'll go back over that, I'm not sure. Um, on his back there, there was a quite a big um, difference between where his trousers and his back meet. So that's been filled in with green stuff. Um, I'm not the best at green stuff. Some of you might have seen that in previous hobby vlogs. Um, but I'm hoping this stuff, this effort, sorry, will be okay. I'm hoping that the paint job will sort of, sort of, um, fix any issues that may arise with the green stuff but I'm really looking forward to painting him look he is absolutely huge and he weighs a ton obviously it's all metal as well so I wasn't sure that the base would hold him but it's doing fine for now in the future we'll see um, I might do sort of a size comparison at the end of this vlog just to show you sort of against other minis from marvel and then maybe some hobbit stuff as well so like there's a i've got a troll chieftain who is also on a 60 mil base um and i'll put over some man size models as well um just to show off how big he actually is um so yeah i really look forward to this guy i'll probably come back next once the sort of base colors are on and maybe I've done something with the base. Um, so I'll be back soon. So here is the Hulk looking a lot more greener, as he should be. Um, I know a lot of people have done the Hulk in sort of a darker green, but I thought, no, let's go for, what's it called? GW Paint Moot Green. It was It is a layer paint, so it took a lot of time to get on, but Hulk is radioactive, so this looks like a proper radioactive color. Um, so as you can see, greens are on, white for the ripped shirt is on. The I've done gray brick for what he's holding there and his purple shorts. 
Um, obviously, there's a lot more detail and different colours to be picked out in his face. So uh, his hair, I'm going to do a dark green, tongue dark green, teeth, not sure, eyes, not sure. Um, I've look at some stuff online. Uh, the brickwork just needs a bit of dry brushing and lighter greys. My pick out is sort of fingernails and his toenails in a different colour as well, just to create some contrast. Um, but I think the next stage for this guy is a wash. As you can see, the base, I've just put some sand on there. Where there's sort of gaps, I'm thinking of putting just some, maybe some stones, or maybe just cut up some of my spare foam and create sort of uh, brickwork that looks like this. So it looks like he just whipped that off the wall, off a building or something, and it's scattered around him. That's what I think I'm doing. And for the rest of the colours, it's going to be the same as my other Avengers. So it's going to be a brown rim, uh, brown sand, dry brush with grey, and then just the rocks and stuff or debris will be dry brushed as well. Um, so not much more needs doing. As I said, the wash is the next stage. I think we're just going to do a whole wash in non oil. And then obviously go back over um, for get the shading right and the highlights. And I'll probably come back when this guy is completely finished. But he's looking a lot more green as he should be. And finally he has finished. After months and months after getting him he's finished. Um, as you can see all the colours and then the washes and the base including sort of the day details on the face as well. Really happy how he's turned out. Not too much work to do to be honest, not many colors or techniques needed, just sort of plaster the paint on, get the wash on and then pick up the details. That's all it was really. Um, base, as I said before, I'm just gonna do the same technique I did for my Avengers ones. So if you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. Um, obviously this isn't a scenic base, so I'd do a little bit more of the work, so adding the stones and things like that. Uh, not too much worry though. Um, did mention before I'd do a size comparison. So you can see in the back I've got a selection of models. So we've got Rocket, the smallest model, then Gandalf from SPG, then Thor, and then a Troll Chieftain, which is probably the most interesting because they come on the same size base. So I'll line these up now, and as you can see, Hulk is huge. Dwar well, not dwarfs, but he's much bigger than a troll chieftain. And then if you put poor old Rocket in front of him as well, Gandalf and Thor, you get an even better scale of how big he actually is. And for a metal model as well, fully metal, it's quite daunting when you put them together. So you don't think that that's the base is going to hold him, to be honest, but it's pretty, doing pretty well at the moment. Not sure how, how much that will change in the future, but yeah, really happy with him. Um, nice focus shot of the face there. All I did was sort of a wah flesh, I think it's called, from GW, just on the hair and the sort of tongue, just to get the sort of darker green, create a bit of differentiation. Didn't want to do black, because that'd just be a bit too um, sort of bog standard, really. Um, so I want a bit more colour on him and the teeth I just did sort of a white and then a wash of no oil just to bring it down a bit. Um, probably could have done a bit better job on the body itself sort of bring, bringing out a detail of the all his muscles and everything like that but I'm really happy that he's turned out. And just the well the brickwork as well just dry brushing really, grey on. that's all it was, not too much work. So, let's move the other guys out of the way. Do a final showpiece of the Hulk. Sorry about the lighting in here. Still need to get sort of a daylight lamp or something just so I can get some proper decent shots for you guys on these videos. But hopefully, this will give you, give you a sense of what a lovely model he is. So yeah, that was my hobby vlog for The Incredible Hulk. If you like the video, make sure you comment, like, share and subscribe, like our Facebook page, and we'll be back very soon.